Hey everyone, welcome back to another Dear I'm GUI C++ video. Today I'm showing you how I designed this modern custom slider in I'm GUI that you can easily integrate into your project. It's sleek, it's smooth and it looks way cooler than the default one. And as a bonus, I made it into a gradient. Obviously, you can make it a solid color if you wish, but I think the gradient looks amazing. So sit tight, I'll break it down how I build it and how you can tweak it to fit your own UI designs. Before starting, as always, please subscribe and leave a like as it helps me a lot. And if you have any suggestions, you can definitely leave them in the comments or in my Discord server. I don't know if you know, but this video and many others are from suggestions in my Discord. So I think you should join. Anyways, let's go before our int main and do our custom slider. If you want to have it in the IMGUI namespace, you can do it in an IMGUI file, but um, we will simply do it here for demonstration purposes. So we're going to start with a ball and name our custom slider. You might hear my keyboard because it's blue switches. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to get the label, which will be constant char label. We're going to have a float V float v min which will be without a star and float v max these are the things that uh, the slider function from mgi takes into account so the label which will also be the name and the id the float and then the minimum and maximum um, so first things first we're gonna push the id of label so we have that and second we're also going to add our text you can use color text here whatever you wish I'm just going to put the text text set it to label as well then we need to get some things like the screen post the width and the height so let's go with arm vector to p equals to arm gy get cursor cursor screen post then we're gonna get the width which will be equal to IMGUI calculate uh, item width and then we're gonna get the height which will be the frame height so float height equal to IMGUI get frame height all right now we're gonna do the gradient color now here again you can do it um, solid color if you wish but I will do it a gradient so how we're gonna do that we're gonna take four variables and I'll uh, explain them in a second all of them will be I'm u32 so the 32 bit uh, colors and I'll explain in a second so first let's go color BJ which is gonna be the slider background color. Uh, so we're gonna do equal to IMGY, we're gonna use get color u32, which will convert it from the RGBA, which I'm gonna show you in a second. I'm vector four holds them like this. Um, the value divided by 255. So, um, yeah, we're gonna convert them. We're gonna put all of them to 0 0.2, uh, but not the last one, which is the opacity. This is gonna be full, so 1.0. And then you can just copy this uh, three times over. And we're gonna go color start, let's do here, color end, and color handle which will be so the handle you're gonna put full white 1.0 1.0 and 1.0 we're gonna make the end blue so let's go I think it's 0 0 0.5 and uh, 1 I think I'm right this should be a nice yellow a uh, nice blue and then we're gonna do a green. Let's make this for the start full green. So it's gonna be zero, zero, one. Here it's gonna be one. And here it's going to be zero. 
So you understand a little educational moment here. This I'm vector 4 still holds RGBA values, but instead of 255, 255, 255, 255, or whatever numbers you can think of, uh, it holds the number divided, it holds the number, number between 0 and 1. So the value is somewhere between 0 and 1. You get the value by simply dividing your number so let's say you have 255 255 255 you divide each one by 255 so 255 uh, div by 255 it's going to get you this one we are talking about here in our case which is full white so the same as 255 255 255 and so on uh, but you don't need to have a headache with this because uh, it's done for you if you use get color u32 <laughs> Anyways, it's time to make our invisible button to track the clicks and the uh, drag. And um, this is actually very easy because we have a function named invisible button. And we're gonna have the same ID and the same width and height. So we're gonna do an end vector 2 of width and height. That being said, bold is active equals to imgy is item activated no actually is item active is item active and ball clicked same equals to i'm gui um is item clicked all right so that being said we're gonna check if it's active so if is underscore active we're gonna get the float mouse underscore pos equals to imgy get mouse pos dot x and then we're gonna subtract p dot x from it then we're gonna change the float so i think v equals to minimum plus the maximum minus the minimum so b max uh, minus b min times the mouse pause mouse pause divided by the width and this should do a pretty accurate representation and after that we're gonna use the uh, we're gonna clamp the value so it doesn't exceed the minimum and the maximum and we're gonna do v equals i'm clamp and if you don't have i'm clamp i think we need to include um, i'm guy internal i'll check in a second let's write it v and then v min and v max all right so you can do show potential fixes and i think it's i'm gi internal dot h so if you have any problems all right just include imgy internal dot uh, h sorry uh, that being said we're gonna draw the slider background so i'm draw list as always um draw list is gonna be equal to imgy get window draw list after that uh, we draw the rect field add rect field of p then i'm vector 2 we have p dot x plus the width and p dot y plus the height then we use color bj and height times 0 0.3 for the rounding and that's it well, going forward we're gonna draw the gradient fill for the slider so we're gonna go float fill underscore width equals to v minus v min divided by we're gonna divide it by v max minus v min hope the math is right you know i never liked maths that much but you don't need to use it everywhere again draw underscore list add rect field 
Uh, here we're gonna use for the gradient we're gonna use uh, add red field multicolor which i hope it is in this version of IMGUI. it is nice uh and the same things but we're gonna use p and then the vector 2 is gonna be composed out of px plus this time fill underscore width let's see let's type here i'm vec2 so p dot x plus fill width and then for the height, we're gonna go the same. So p dot y, but this time plus the normal height. We don't have a fill height. And after that, we're gonna do the color start, color end, color end, and color start. You can make the gradient more complicated by doing four different colors, but we're just gonna use uh, two of them two times. So color start, and then color end, and then again color end. So they make sense and then again color start this should make us a nice little um okay uh this should not end here it should end here all right <clears throat> that's that last thing we have to do is actually draw the handle so let's draw the handle float handle underscore x equals to p dot x plus height no actually plus fill width uh, i think so and then again draw list this is going to be a circle field so add circle field we're gonna go i'm vector 2 handle underscore x p dot y plus the height uh, divided by 2 actually I'm gonna go times 0 0.5 it's the same thing but it's cleaner close the vector 2 there then I think um, I already closed it uh, then we go height I can't write height times 0 0.4 and then the color of the handle which in our case it's white but of course you can change it to however you like at the end don't forget to always pop the id like pop anything in IMGUI so pop id and then at the end we need to return something so we're gonna return clicked in case we need it can also make this a void but um, you get the click state if you make it a void Anyways, what's left for us is to actually test this. So let's make a float outside here. Let's say float value equals to 0 0.0f, 0 0.0f. And let's go somewhere in our window. It doesn't really matter. Let's go before my custom checkbox. And all we have to do is do custom slider. And then as for a normal slider, we're gonna type volume. Actually, let's type just value mine. And um, after that, the float, so value. And after that, the minimum and the maximum. So let's go 0.0f as the minimum and 100.0 as maximum. All right, let's see the results. We have here the results. We have the slider here the gradient rect doesn't seem to be rounded but it doesn't look bad you can obviously stop this if you prefer the white circle you could stop it uh, before the end here but uh, that's for another video obviously or you can do it yourself it's not much but thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something new join the discord leave a like and you also have the code in the description. Bye-bye.